Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to do a little video for you on how to remove giant ragweed from your property so that way you don't have summer allergies. Or, in my case, also so that way you can help out some of the other plants around. Now, giant ragweed is a plant that I've got in my hands right here, and this is a native plant to North America. However, it's also an invasive plant in Europe and Asia. Another thing to note about giant ragweed is that it does have very noxious pollen, meaning that it does cause summer allergies. And a lot of people will mistake goldenrod for being the cause when it's actually this plant right here. Now, last year I actually did an identification video on this plant, so if you're interested in learning a little bit more about its identification, I'll put a link in the description down below for you guys to check that out. However, in this video we will discuss some of its identification features as well. So, let's get right into that. All right, giant ragweed is an annual plant and it's native to North America. The thing about it being an annual means that it grows once and then it dies that year. So that's kind of a good thing and that's also kind of a bad thing. Whenever this plant goes into flower, which the, none of these have any flowers yet, but when they do reach flower, each plant can produce anywhere from 25 to 55,000 seeds. So one ragweed plant can spread a whole lot of them. Something that you might notice just by looking at the plant first and foremost is the very unique shape of these leaves. There are three lobes, anywhere from three to five lobes. However, not every leaf will have lobes on the sides of them. Like you can see, this one here is just a simple lance-shaped leaf with teeth running along the margins or the edges, just like you can see right here. And then finally, a third variation on the leaves of giant ragweed will be these leaves with five lobes, just like you can see on this one. One, two, three, four, five. Now granted, this one has been chewed out. There are five lobes. Now giant ragweed is very giant, just like its name implies, not only in its leaves, but how tall this plant can actually grow. This plant can grow anywhere from six feet tall all the way up to 20 feet tall in some select cases. Generally in my area, I find it anywhere from 10 to 15 feet tall. However, this plant is very noxious around the Corn Belt of the United States as well. So if you live anywhere in the Midwest like I do, this plant is extremely prolific and it is everywhere. Which makes it a good plant to know so that way you know where to watch out where your allergies might be worse. And if you have it on your property, you can get rid of it. Speaking of which, how exactly do you get rid of ragweed? Well, it's actually very simple. First and foremost, find every single plant that you have in the area. Like for example, we have this ragweed plant right here, so we find the top of it, and we go all the way down the stem, and then once we follow the stem all the way down to the ground, just like I have here, simply grab it between your hands, and then pull right up. And then once you've done that, you're going to see the majority of the root coming up, just like you can see here, if the soil is moist. Now I just had a pretty good rainstorm last night, so the soil is very moist right now, which makes all of this pulling very, very easy. You're not going to get all of the roots, but thankfully ragweed doesn't propagate too well by its root system. It generally grows better by seed and by pollination. So, that's kind of a good thing. Remember earlier whenever I said that ragweed is very prolific within the corn belt of the United States? Take a look at all the ragweed that I have just here. I apologize for the wind blowing it around, but here you can see all of this ragweed. And I have a huge wall of it. Now right there you can see a really tall ragweed plant growing. Actually you can see several of them growing right there and you can see a raspberry bush that's trying to survive. And that's another reason that I'm wanting to get rid of all this ragweed. Because if we look right back there you can see more of these wild raspberries trying to grow. However, they're not getting quite enough sun and that's because of this ragweed is overcrowding them and it's blocking out all their sunlight. And here you can see this wall of ragweed and how tall this is. This is just my height and I'm a little over six foot. I'm about six foot one. So this is really, really tall. Thankfully it hasn't begun to flower yet so it hasn't begun to produce its seeds. But what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to pull all of these plants up. Now you guys can see what all I've cleared out right here. A lot of this grass is starting to even try to die off 
just because the ragweed is taking all of its light and all of its nutrients. So that's something to keep in mind is that ragweed, while it's a native plant, can be very destructive to the environment and will outgrow other plants that you may be wanting to keep. Right there, you guys can see the massive pile of ragweed that I have in front of me. This is almost all of what I pulled up in my yard. I still have a bit more to pull up, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. Okay, that's all there really is when it comes to controlling ragweed within your property. So I hope this video has helped you guys out, and I thank you guys for watching. If you want to learn more about edible or medicinal plants, or even noxious weeds, please make sure to subscribe.